In Yunkai, events had conspired to form a genuine threat to the new Baratheon dragon riders. The crown of Westeros now held two dragons. King Oris held Drogon, the largest and most powerful dragon of them all, and Princess Sylvaina held the young Orion, who was little more than a court curiosity at this stage. By contrast, Yunkai controlled three adult and dangerous dragons. Viserion, another of Daenerys' original three dragons, rivaled Drogon in size and strength, and was written by Triarch Valerion Daumiris himself, leader of Yunkai. Then there was Goldskill, written by Rera Daumiris, a former acolyte of Rhaenys the Dragon Rider. Most importantly, there was Telexis, written by Aenar Targaryen himself. King Oris, brave and ambitious, decided to attack the Yunkish in a risky, preemptive strike. Oris was confident that the mighty Drogon could still defeat young Goldscale and Telexis while they were not fully grown. Viserion would be risky, but the king hoped to be able to distract the Triarch Valerion to get him to fight Drogon one on one without the help of the other two Yunkish dragons. But as the Westerosi fleet moved into Slaver's Bay, word reached Oris that Triarch Valerion had died and that Viserion now ran wild, lacking a dragon rider to aid Yunkai. While this was good news, Drogon was still outnumbered 2 to 1, so the king kept his resolve. An epic spectacle ensued above the skies of Yunkai once Oris' army had gone ashore. Mighty Drogon, with his rider King Oris Baratheon, fought Goldscale and Telexis at the same time, in a fight the likes of which had not been seen since the Dance of Dragons 200 years ago. Although the battle was hard fought and King Oris was nearly thrown off or burned on several occasions, Drogon managed to bite through Goldskill's neck, causing Dragon and Rider to tumble to the ground. The Baratheon Dragon proceeded to kill Telexis' rider, Aenar Targaryen, with Dragon Flame, burning Daenerys Targaryen's son, in a sense, Drogon's half brother. Telexis was distracted by the loss of his rider and fell into the sea after several slashes of Drogon's claws, never to resurface. Oris Baratheon had managed to slay three rivals at once. After his dragon duel, Oris and Drogon flew up to the top of the Golden Pyramid of Kagas. Here they met with the leaders of Yunkai and gave them a choice. Surrender now, keep your position and keep your city intact, or surrender only once the city falls to the tens of thousands of Westerosi troops, lose your position and see your city sacked. Wisely the Triarchs decided to surrender. As promised, King Oris was magnanimous in victory. The Triarchs were not replaced, and other than a mutual defensive pact and a nominal tribute, not too much would change for Yunkai. Oris's leniency may have been a mistake. Within months, Triarch Vario Kyrineon had gone into the hills to tame the wild dragon Viserion. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJO Gaming, and welcome back to your boy. King Oris, the Dragon Lord. Yeah, I saw this this name in the nickname list uh, from the uh, the game files, and I was like, yeah, how can I not, right? Because uh, Oris was still known as Oris the Lusty, which I think is incredibly silly for a guy like this, <laughs> the first person who is not a Targaryen to uh, to ride a dragon in forever. Well, not forever. I think there were a couple, a couple of uh, sort of peasants from Dragonstone who rode dragons at some point, but uh, at least in a few hundred years. Uh, so I think people would not call him the Lusty, they would call him the Dragon Lord. So we're definitely uh, definitely going to keep that. Alright, uh, let's keep uh, going. And also, I think I'm, I am going to grab Dragonstone. Let's grab the High Lordship first. Because I think I'm going to move the capital to Dragonstone. I think that's fun. It's a bit bit different, you know. Some of you are unhappy that you granted the Lordship of uh, Storm's End to Lord Raymond Piper. Okay, Oberyn and Simon are unhappy. Um... Yeah, I can imagine, but it's too bad, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I humbly accept your decision to revoke the High Lordship. Alrighty. And now we need to revoke the Lordship. I mean, we could just do it. It's a minus 15 opinion matters, but I think most of my vessels are pretty okay with me right now. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, okay, these guys are not, but <laughs> that makes sense. I think most of the normal ones, yeah, so only uh, only Theon Radio doesn't like me very much, but the other... Uh, Powerful lords, they uh, they like me fine. So I think we can uh, we can handle some tyranny. So let's just grab the lordship. Come on, thank you. Yep, 
uh, oh, I humbly ask you to intervene on behalf of, uh, on my, my behalf on the uh, aggression of Lord Paramount Ed uh, Edric Baratheon. Who are you? Lord of King's Landing. What is Edric Baratheon doing? He is... Uh, Edric's claim on King's Landing war. Yeah, I will, t I will tell him to stand down. Come on, uh, brother. Don't be doing me like that. I will, of course, obey. All right. Uh, I don't see why this concerns me. Yep. Um, I could just grab that again, that High Lordship. If Edric has a claim on it, that's probably smart. Also, he probably will try it again. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I created this Lordship. Because I had a too high vessel limit, but now that I've given away the Stormlands, I, I guess I don't need to, need to do it anymore. So please give me that, then uh, Oris will not attack you anymore. Uh, okay, we grab the Lordship of Dragonstone. Okay, let's move the capital here. Make capital. You sure you want to move your court to Dragonstone? Okay, the reason why I'm doing this, in case you are not aware, uh, the Dragon Dragon uh, Dragonstone has a couple of very nice uh, advantages over King's Landing when it comes to uh, to having dragons. Uh, the Dragon Mount in particular. It has a size growth of 1.5 and life expectancy is much longer. And the Dragon Pit is the opposite. Uh, it reduces the life expectancy and it also reduces the size uh, growth. So I think um, I think we're going to move to Dragonstone. Yeah, why not, right? It's fun. Change the pace. Make ground focus. All right, we are in Dragonstone. Very nice. Give me that, please. Thank you. All right. The son was born to Lara and Maester X. Okay. Well, so we are in the mighty castle of Dragonstone. I think that I think that's fun. I think we should uh, we should do it. Oh, we have so many truces, man. Yeah, we fought a lot of wars last episode. Yeah, we, uh, we don't need we don't need such a huge castle, guys. We just need a place for our dragon to uh, to thrive. How is our dragon doing, Mr. Drogon? Pretty great, it seems. Affectionate, wrathful, strong. Great. Okay. Yeah. Last episode, we of course slayed a bunch of uh, dragons. <laughs> <laughs> which was pretty cool, uh, but uh, we're, uh, we, 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 I think we will leave the rest of the dragons where they are for now. Uh, not really that much we can do about it at the moment. I don't think we're going to pay much attention to this part of our kingdom. Um, we sort of grabbed it up by accident and we, we conquered Junkai just because that's where the dragon riders were. But I wouldn't mind losing this if these guys uh, uh, go into revolt <coughs> and we are not able to, to squash it. I won't be too uh, unhappy. Uh, my moodiness and tendency to lash, lash out at people is getting worse. I sleep too little and can't seem to stop worrying. This is a lot of pressure. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's not uh, that's not useful. All the tyranny of Dragonstone. No, we will, we will wait. Uh, do we still have a loan? No. I think we will raise uh, our boy to uh, nobility. I think we have the money for it now. Uh, ra uh, raise to nobility. 80 gold, man. That's a lot of money. We're still going to do it. Okay, we will, we will raise our boy to nobility. Hello, raise to nobility. Glendon Eames. Okay, he's our master at arms. Is he a good fighter? Not really. So I guess we will just have him uh, continue training troops in King's Landing. That is fine. All right. Uh, this is wonderful. Okay, we we're, we're trying to sway this guy a little bit. Because uh, he, uh, he is the second most powerful dragon rider after us. So uh, it makes sense. And he has an elephant. Today my brother Simon asked for a fee of his own to govern. Um, the King's Gate. Castle of the King's Gate. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, you can have that one. Uh, this guy, uh, Oberyn, is unhappy. I guess you could grant Oberyn um, the other castle that we own. We own another castle here, right? The Dragon Gate. We could do that. Yeah, we could give that to Oberyn. Where is he? I think Oberyn deserves something. He's, uh, he's pretty great. Oh, he's still on, uh, on his long journey. Let's wait for him to get back. And we will just wait for some more money to uh, to arrive. And then we will continue our conquest. I think the next uh, next target is going to be Volantis. Because they joined uh, they joined our enemy when we attacked uh, Yunkai. We, uh, we don't forget that kind of thing. The rallies of the Weeping Lady uprising declared the Weeping Lady revolt against King Oris the Dragon Lord. On King Oris the Dragon Lord. Okay. The Weeping Lady is, uh, is a religion. So we are in a religious war against these guys. All right. Removing Lord... Gre I don't, I don't, man, that's so annoying. I, I'm not removing anybody, guys. Come on. Wow, you guys are all shit. <laughs> Master High of Flea Bottom. All righty. Messi's hook. Whatever, okay. They will surely honor their obligations. I think I'm just going to have my vessels deal with this one. We'll honor my allegiance, honor my allegiance, honor my allegiance. Great. Everybody, please go to lease. 
Uh, oh, and uh, Lord Paramount Raymond Piper is a loyalist. Great, very nice. Welcome. I hope you guys can handle this uh, by yourselves without my help. King's Landing prosperous, nice. It's time for me to choose how I want to educate my son, Prince Robert Brathian. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do with Robert? I kind of want to train him again to be a good fighter. I think that is the most medieval uh, answer for that. Is to make uh, to groom him for command again, same as me. And I think also my dad. Yeah, he was also pretty good at uh, at, at command. We could have him uh, be good with numbers or educate him at court. That's also possible. Him to be good with numbers. Hmm. Now oh, we will groom for command. That means we can uh, we can be his his guardian. We'll spend highly. We uh, are have, have some piety gone from us. Uh, is there any any vessel who wants to give us a small loan to get us out of the red? No, I guess not. Um, we don't need this much this much money though. A minor bank, forty five percent interest. Come on, man. <laughs> I guess we will just uh, st stay in the red for a while. It's only about ten months, and we will be back in the black again. All right, Robert. Robert Fireborn. I think we're going to be your guardian ourselves. That's always nice. Okay, look at all these vessels, man. All these vessel troops going off to the east to fight for me. I hope you guys can defeat uh, this religious uprising. Become exalted to my man. Great. Nice. I mean, I th I, yeah, we are a very exalted among men, I would say. <laughs> we, uh, we are really are riding, riding a massive dragon in an era where there's almost no dragons left. All right, uh, Forge Bloodline, win the war, adopt the lifestyle, make the aid. I think we can do Forge Bloodline, that's quite quite fun. Uh, after many months traveling across foreign lands, your the brother, uh, Prince Oberyn, has returned from his tour. He visited many prestigious princes and lords, practicing his skills with words and people at feasts, weddings and formal audiences. The meeting with Lord Paramount Fergon of the Iron Islands went particularly well, apparently. Oh, is Theon dead? I think I missed that. Here's the Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands. What, what, what happened to Theon? Kingdom of the Iron Islands. Theon died 8351. Oh, he died uh, 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 almost a year ago, in fact, at age 72. All right. So we have no longer a Greyjoy on the throne. We have this guy, Lord Paramount Fergon. All right. He's not very ironborn y. <laughs> he's, uh, he's groomed. Sympathy for Westerosi gods. He's, got, he's just, he's honorable. He's shy. <laughs> this is like the opposite Ironborn, but I guess they elected him. Oh, that's uh, that's up to them. All right, welcome back, uh, Oberyn. Has been on a foreign tour. Very nice. Very very nice. All right, shall we give you something? You married? Oh, yeah, you married this woman. Yeah, I, I, I remember now. This is some woman from like the the far end of the world, Kaya Kaya Naya. It's all the way over here. <laughs> she married. Uh, she married uh, my brother Prince Oberyn. Man, I like this guy. I like Oberyn. Should give him something. We can give him uh, the Castle of Dragon Gate. That's fine. Here you go. I prefer to give him a bit, a uh, bit uh, larger, uh, larger piece of land, but uh, that's fine like this, I guess. That died of pneumonia. Okay, uh, this guy died. L Lyman Tully died of pneumonia. Okay. We have this kid in charge now. Can we marry you to somebody? Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> to Alara, my daughter. Sure. That makes sense, I think. We have a non-aggression pact again with him. Winter fever has broken out in Dragonstone. What? What is winter fever? Consumption, I think? Hmm. Winter fever is loose in this province. Okay, well, we'll shut the gates then, I guess. <laughs> Seal it. The gods help us. I have no idea what winter fever is. But, uh, let's see. Lord Paramount Winton is no longer hand of the king. Okay, I guess he's joining us in the war then. He will oh, Ro Oberyn, yeah. Oberyn is my hand. Why do you hate me so much, Oberyn? Did not give me title. Yes, I did. Denied title. No, I didn't. <laughs> this game, man, sometimes. Ferio Kirinion has had enormous flagship added to the treasury. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mr. Dragon Rider, sir. Are you joining us uh, to fight uh, our rebels? Maybe we should just help out. We are in the black again. With the fever is broken out of King's Landing. The gods help us. I don't know what all my vessels are doing. They're here. Or there's two here. I guess we, we just have to do it ourselves then. Raise the levies, please. 
King's Landing is fine. Raise all the troops we have. Uh, Olimar is often involved in fights with other toddlers. That's good news. I try to steer his energy elsewhere. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Cynical, fine. Cynical is not bad. That's a plus one intrigue. Okay, we won't be able to fit our entire army into these boats, I think. So let's just move. Move down to Mur. And we will ask the Murray's army to join us. And I think together we can uh, we can deal with these uh, these heretics. Okay, Mr. Mur, uh, who is in charge of Mur? Harono the Cruel. Mm, this guy. Hello, please attach to uh, to my army. Thank you, Rob uh, Renly. I don't have really the money for him. Sorry, uh, Renly. <laughs> I know you're my second son and all, but uh, we cannot really deal with you. Oh, the travelers bring rooms of fire and blood to say that dragons live once more and Noroquo Atroxiaris now rides Castaconier into battle. Okay, so this is another Atroxiaris. Ah, this is the. Uh, Rira Daumiri. So yeah, we killed her above the skies of Yunkai. We killed her dragon. This is uh, this is her son, and I guess he's also in the Atraxia Atraxiaries dynasty. So that is the yeah Rainy's Atraxiaries. That's the um, the dragon rider who came to the dragon pit with uh, with Drogon. So uh, I guess her family is back in the saddle of uh, of a dragon. I wonder what kind of dragon this is. Or this is a very young one. Gold scale. Okay, so this is the the gold scale. Uh, Gold skills kit. So I guess the uh, gold skills are still at an egg uh, floating around somewhere. All right. Uh, we might might have to deal with that in uh, 20 or 30 years, but uh, not right now. Okay. So this guy's a new dragon rider. How is our um, how is Drogon's uh, kid doing? Uh, Orion. Yeah. Okay. He's growing up. He's growing up. Playful dragon, nimble. All right. So, uh, our, our our daughter Sylvina can uh, can uh, continue. Uh, Raising that dragon, we'll see. Okay, we are at Mur. Let's wait for the Miranese to join us, and then we will move down here. Beric, Harmon, Jeffrey, Jeffrey of the Crossing. Yeah, great, great man, good man, strong man. We will move you guys uh, back to King's Landing, or not King's Landing, but the Crown Dance. And here we go. See vessels. It's that easy. <laughs> Just one battle. And you beat you beat them. You guys should have should have been able to. Uh, hey, breeding dragons is a dangerous game, but you have managed to obtain a new clutch of dragon eggs from Drogon. All right, I'm an adept dragon breeder after all. Very nice, very nice. Okay. On Dragonstone, you notice stone dragons on the walls of the old castle. What if those huge stone beasts could come to life and fill the skies with fire? All right. Yeah, yeah. So now we have to do the same shtick again, where we um, we move past a couple of dragony uh, dragony places. We can do that. That's no problem. Um, let's first lower the troops and let's first gain a bit of bit bit more money. Maybe wait for this disease to die. Oh, what happened? Eco Paiva of Steel Road. No longer any marriage ties. We inherited a bunch of money from this guy. It seems. Castle of the Dragon Gate from Commander Oberyn. Did Oberyn die? Died under suspicious circumstances. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So we re re inherited that castle. So Oberyn. Hmm. I wonder what happened to him. I wonder who killed him. Was it his wife, maybe? His 16 year old wife? Who has winter fever? Minus 3 health. Oof. Okay. Should be uh, should be careful with that. Okay, so we inherited this back again. Oberyn died. Okay, that's fine. We will, we will keep in seclusion for now. Alright. Uh, Disney's Regent. Oh, yeah, Gregor. Gregor Westerling. That's fine. Yeah, he's pretty great. Um, we have a couple of idle council members. Okay, I, I, I do like the. The big war system in this game, where all the, the 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 kingdoms are independent, but it is a bit annoying that you have to re constantly reappoint your council again every time. But you know, what are you gonna do? We will wait for this uh, winter fever to die down a bit. We don't want uh, we don't want to risk uh, getting that because we, we we seriously might die from that. We already have minus one stress, so minus three winter fever. That that's pretty terrible. My wife is pregnant again. <laughs> 34, eh? Great. <laughs> That's always good. should think about trying to marry off these guys. We have Willis Water is already married off to Lady uh, Saria of Tully of the Trident. What other people do we have? Alara, uh, maybe married her off to Lord Paramount Tyler. Robert Fireborn is married off to Sinella Targaryen, the last Targaryen. So that, that's fine as well. 
We have Renly. He's only five. Okay, we, we can wait a bit before marrying him off. We have Dragon. Drogon is a ravenous beast. He regularly roams the lands of Dragonstone, gorging on the livestock of the small folk. He's a dragon. What do you expect? I will offer them just recompense. Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, this is Dragonstone, guys. <laughs> this is an island specifically designed around <laughs> the, the the big dragon mod. So if you... Yeah, I'm sorry. But if you're, if you're a farmer there, then you should expect this kind of thing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, we will not pay you money. My rival Triarch Vale Vario of Yunkai died. Okay. So I guess Viserion is on the loose again. Right? Because this was the uh, the dragon rider of Viserion, right? So Alisan Daumiaris is now the new uh the new uh Triarch of uh, Yunkai, alright. Alright, sixty five year old woman. With a big scar on her face. Travelers being your room is okay, this guy has trained Viserion. Uh, this guy is Kirinion, okay. I think I think yeah, okay, this is this is his his son. Very nice, alright. So this guy is, is a lot weaker than the uh, the Triarch of Yunkai, so I'm actually quite kind of fine with him training uh, Valerion or uh, Viserion. A Kingsguard member was uh, died, Leo Florent. All right, all right. Uh, let's find somebody, yeah. I don't think so. No, we we will find somebody ourselves. It's too bad Oberyn is dead. He would have been a pretty good Kingsguard member. We have this guy, Adam Adam Vickery. He's got a hundred. Personal combat skill. He's brave, kind, proud, cynical. Yeah, we can ask him. Want to be in my king's guard, my man? No. Okay, too bad. We have Diamond Lannister. Sure, we can ask him. It would solve uh, some problems that we have as well, because he has a claim on the Westerlands. Alona. We have a daughter, Alona, in, born in uh, in seclusion. Alona, sickly child. Makes sense. Oh, Gregor of the Westerlands died. Oh, that's sad. Uh, who is now the new Warden of the West End? Oh, this guy, Quentin. Wow, he's terrible. He is terrible. <laughs> Homosexual refusing marriage. Who will inherit the death to you then? And this, this woman, okay, she's a bit better. It's like the Warden of the West. Yeah, let's have uh, this guy be the Warden of the West. So the... Yeah, the, so this is the third Westerling on the throne of the, the Westerlands. We need a new Master of Coin in the meantime. Um, these guys are all pretty terrible. Let's let's find somebody. This guy then, I guess. Or this guy. He's okay. Let's have this guy uh, come over. Be our master of coin. Renly is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Great. How's Robert doing? He's eight. Can we force him to train? No, not yet. We're secluded, I guess. <laughs> come on, man. This disease should be over. Uh, should be over by now. It's been like two years. They say that the uh, dragons live one more, and that Master Basporio, a random, random guy, who, also, who owns a tiger and is a slave trader, he trained Viserion. Okay, I thought that, that there was another guy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore with, this, with these dragons, man. <laughs> the walls and the salt and the nice watch is hard pressed to defend it. Okay, we ride north at dawn. The dangers beyond the wall. Hmm, is this the? Um Wait, 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 wait. Are these the others? Oh, no, 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 it's uh, King Small Mammoth. Is that, is that really his name? <laughs> Small Mammoth. What a name, man. Okay, we ride north at dawn. That's fine, we will help you out, uh, my man. We will raise, ra raise an army here in the north. Jeffrey can command it, that's fine. Another, another wildling invasion, eh? Here we are above the wall. Let's go to the fist of the first men. Fist of the First Men. Oh, we have a spot on the King's Guard. Oh, Sir Ellery died. Okay, he was one of the one of the younger guys. He died of scurvy, I guess. Okay, <laughs> bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Let's let's find somebody. Oh, they're all pretty good actually. Sir Aenys Florent. He's a genius. Does he want to come over to my court? No. Um, I could put him on the King's Guard though. Or this guy is brave and just. Or this guy. I think uh, Bart Catherine. No, no, this guy is, is it Florent is a name I recognize, so he doesn't want to. Okay, we will do one of the other guys then. Ah, okay. The uh, this is the the bloodline one. What is the? Is there any sp sp specific Game of Thrones um, one? Win fifteen foreign wars. I will remember fear. I will become paragon of virtue. I will bring prosperity and knowledge to my realm. 
You don't remember fear. Mm. Or we could just fight 10 foreign wars. That's also a uh, bloodline. That's, uh, we're pretty close to that, actually. I think we might be able to do that. Um, yeah, I, I will find my own path. Okay, we have three new potential uh, candidates. Ironwood. We have Sir Jacob Darkholm. And we have Sir Lewis Sarsfield. I think we had a Darkholm on the Kingsguard before. So if this guy wants to join me, that's fine. Sir Jacob Darkholm, alright. Seems like a pretty decent, uh, decent candidate. Okay, here we go. Stupid wildlings. Stop attacking. Stop attacking the wall, man. I don't know how you, you guys keep uniting. I thought wildlings were not supposed to uh, to kneel to any king. It seems like kneeling to me, guys. Uh, this guy has another. Is it Lord Jeffrey? Oh, Lord, uh, Lord Commander Jeffrey died. Jeffrey of the Crossing. No, I'm not gonna, not gonna invite this guy. Come on, man. Sir Jacob Darkholm, Sir Tymon Lannister. Wow, he's terrible. Has winter fever. Yeah, okay. So Imri Catdolphin. I think he would be a good Lord Commander. Let's have... Uh, or do we have any more? Raymond Barnsley. And this is Raymond the Turning Eye, but he has cancer, so let's not, let's not give it to him. Morton Selmy is pretty great. I think Imri Catdolphin is probably the best one. Yep, let's have uh, some more candidates come forward. This guy, Bart, Bart Kefren, we wanted to... Have him join anyway. He was a pretty good candidate. Alright, 100%. Great. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Is the, the, the disease now finally over? Come on, man. Oh, it is over. Okay, let's finally open the gates then. And then we will, uh, we will, we will, we will, we will end the episode, I think, by visit, visiting some of the dragon sites. And see if we can't uh, have, uh, have the, the dragon egg uh, heat up. And then we can give it to, uh, to Robert. We have a new dragon rider. Yep, he won. Okay. Oh, and uh, it broke up again, so there's no no longer a king beyond the wall. Very nice. Lord Commander Robin Tully. Robin the oh, this is the the former uh, Lord Paramount of uh, of the Riverlands. We uh, we we imprisoned him and sent him to the wall, and he is, I guess, now the uh, the Lord Commander. All right. Very nice. My wife is pregnant again. <laughs> she already gave us six kids, and now seventh on the way. How's Robert doing? Still not a single trait, huh? Take him on as a squire, yeah. Forced to train. Wounded. Not improved. And he, he gained the trait wounded, okay. That's not great. We will replace the marshal with, uh, with, uh, with a good fighter. Skilled fighter. Ideally a formidable fighter. A skilled fighter will do in a pinch, I think. Ah, we invited this guy. Of River Run, he can probably uh, help to train our kids a little bit. Yeah, here he is. He's a formidable fighter, so that, that means that this modifier is probably going to be quicker. Yeah, I don't care what I think. Let's see if he is able to train uh, train our kids. All right, we're, we're going to visit some of these dragony places, and uh, we will see if we can see if we can uh, find a way to hatch these dragon eggs. Can we just visit the the old ones? So if we go to like King's Landing, is that okay? Will that give me the, the points? The uh, the tick? I guess not. I think I'm pretty sure Old Town is one. Oh, Summer Hall is certainly one. Let's go to Summer Hall. Now, oh, come on. Yeah, Summer Hall. So now Targaryen has a dragon whip at the, at the treasury. Does she, does she hold a dragon? No. Not yet, anyway. So Lexi says dragon egg removed from the treasury. Okay, that, that really does seem... Yeah, okay, here we go. She, she hatched the dragon. Ariax. So this is uh, this, this woman is married into our family. She is... Uh, yeah, she's married to our, our son and heir, Robert. So he, we will give him the dragon egg uh, as well later. Yeah, here we go. And yet Summerhall was the place the prince loved best. He would go there from time to time. He only has harp for company. Even the knights of the king's guard did not attend him, hit him there. He liked to sleep in the ruined hall... Beneath the moon and stars, whenever he came, he would bring a song. All right. And let's go to Old Town. Osni. What a stupid name. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, it is. Should we, uh, should, we fi should we find a better name for you, uh, Osni? Uh, who is my... Maybe we can name him, name him after uh, one of my wife's 
family members. We have Olimar, Giles. Could, could name him Giles, I guess. Giles is kind of a traitor, right? Or we could name him... Uh, uh, like Stannis, maybe? We could do another Stannis, sure. In honor of our, uh, our great uncle, who died only quite recently. Even though our, our family is uh, traditionally not doesn't really like Stannis, but uh, whatever. Here we go. Blood and fire. Okay, so we need we need a couple of more dragon sites. Uh, what dragon sites else are there? Castle Rock? No, I don't think so. Storm's End? No. Eerie is, I think, one. Certainly Harrenhal is one, but I think we already visited that one, so might not uh, might not uh, be beneficial. But let's see anyway. Okay, I guess Harrenhal is not working. Is there any other potential dragon site? Maybe Winterfell? There's a uh, story about uh, Torrin Karstark. No, Torrin Stark, the king who knelt. Maybe that will be a dragon site, let's see. We also have quite a bit of money, so once we, get, once we get back home we might organize a big tourney again. Sounds like a good idea. Although I guess I once, once this dragon egg is hatched, we'll probably... Uh, although actually, come to think of it, if I have a thousand gold, I can restore Summerhall. That sounds like fun. I think I'm going to do that. That's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a feature in this game. You can, uh, you can colonize these two sort of... Uh, Ruins. We can we can re, uh, re restore those. So I think I think I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna restore Summer Hall. So we are becoming more and more Targaryen-y every day, <laughs> with our dragons and uh, sort of our, our marrying into the Targaryen dynasty. I think it makes sense. Robert, you are al already scarred. <laughs> okay. But uh, we still want you to train, so uh, force to train. Yep. Made him a better man? Oh, made a better man, but not a better fighter. Okay. Uh, this guy can be encouraged to uh, remove himself from all factions. Is he in a faction? Yes. Overthrow the monarchy. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we ain't doing that shit. Robert likes me. Is I'm a friend with Robert. Great. Such a bright little child. Zealous. Um, do I want him, to, want, him, want him to be zealous? Sure, why not? Riding a stride drug on your fly to pay. Okay, I, I, I count this guy. Into, su into submission again, so he will not join, join any factions, that's great. Okay, so we have a thousand gold now. Yeah, see, we can colonize a bunch of stuff. I want to colonize Summerhall, yeah. We need to, I think, add our, uh, our stew uh, move our steward there. Do we have a good steward? Yeah, it's okay. I think it's this one. Colony construction advances, yeah. So I guess we will, we will move Casper to s oversee construction over here in uh, Summerhall. There we go. See, now it's 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 now a regular province, and now uh, yeah, we have to wait for it to actually uh, become uh, a province. It's not it's not there yet. It has, this, it has this modifier, which basically removes all usefulness from it until we have re re rebuild it all. Makes sense, I think. Um, oh, we are both married. Amberley and King Oris. This woman. Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We had a good tumble. Very nice. <laughs> okay, this is not a great dragon site, I guess. Hmm. What what other dragon sites are there then? Maybe an Esso somewhere. A Valeria, uh, uh, Valeria maybe. But okay, I I think I will look it up because I think it's yeah. I think I think that's fair. I think I can look it up. Old Geese Ashai Volantis. Okay, we can go there. Let's go to Volantis first. Is it this one? The Great Plaza. Lady. The Zola the Firegazer. Lady. <laughs> this is Volantis, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go there first. The largest city in the world, right? Uh, he wants this guy to be a member of the Kingsguard. Oh, that's actually fine. He's a formidable fighter. That's fine, actually. No, I refused Kingsguard. Not oh, too bad. Maybe the greatest knights in all the realm. So Jorwin Fowler, Sir Osmond Stone, or Sir Randall Hunt, who's only 15 years old. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a very young Kingsguard member. A giant 15-year-old. Who's going to be a great fighter, because he's still a child now. So he's going to be plus 20, so he will have 105 co personal combat skills. So that's actually great. 
Uh, Willis Water wants a thief of his own to govern. No, Princess, Princess Sylvina should rightfully rule King's Landing. No, no, no. Screw you, uh, Willis. You're a bastard, man. Now, here we go. Behind the Black Wall of Old Ventus dwell some of the few remaining nobles of Valyrian blood. You talk and feast with many of them, trying to extract as much knowledge and tales of the Dragons of the Freehold as you can in an effort to understand how they were bred. Nice. Then we will go to Old Geese, which is here. You have arrived at the fields of Old Geese, a place where the Valyrian Field of Old smashed the Giscari Empire with its dragons, raising Old Geese to the ground. The fields were sow sowed with salt, sulfur, and skulls, and even today the land is barren. Surely that's enough to uh, get this dragon egg to hatch. Maybe I, uh, I'm overthinking this. Maybe I should just give the dragon egg to, uh, to Robert, and he will hatch it himself. But just to be safe. I know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going all the way to a shy. Screw that. <laughs> Luckily, we have some land here. I will just give the dragon egg to, uh, to Robert. Robert, my man. I have something for you. A dragon egg. Enjoy. As, of, as is now bred in tradition, you have young Robert sleep in his bed with his new dragon egg. If a dragon is hatched, it will be a sign that the child is indeed a true Baratheon. Alright. Very nice. I guess probably uh, Sylvina's dragon is also doing fairly well. Orion? Yeah, he's growing up. He's obedient. Okay, he's uh, he's not as, as strong of a dragon as uh, Drogon is, but that's fine. My betrothed can marry Lady Saria of the Trident to my bastard. That's fine. I accept the suggestion. Very nice. Oh, I've been <laughs> recording for well over an hour, actually. <laughs> so, uh, okay, but I, I, uh, I think that's fine because I don't think that much happened this episode, so I'm going to cut it all up. So it will probably be a half an hour of episode uh, where I take all the exciting bits. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, let's see what happens next time. I think... Um, we're going to continue colonizing Summer Hall. And now that we've given away this dragon egg, I think it's it's time to start expanding again. So I think we will do that. I think we will be, we will be making our way further into Essos this episode. Yeah, so last episode we had some... Uh, so this episode we had some some trouble over here in the east. And we, we, we were raising some money and doing uh, doing some realm management. But I think, th I think next episode it's time to get back into conquering. So uh, we're going to do that. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you then. Bye-bye.